Hey guys, uh, can you tell me uh, why you're uh, blocking the rail line here? Why aren't How you responding different? to the lawful order of a police officer? Well, this is, I think, the spiral we're in in this country, sir, is that when millions of Canadians so why don't are you not see... responding to the lawful I'm, order I'm of a police officer? I'm trying to answer your question, officer. When millions of Canadians see yes, the rule of law yes not no. being enforced, then I think the rule of law gets disrespected, And what quite you're frankly. doing is you are contributing to that right now. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Hamilton, Ontario. Well, folks, Normally standing on railroad tracks, like the ones I'm standing on, isn't a very prudent nor safe idea, but, well, can you believe it? Like the whack-a-mole game at the carnival, another rail protest has erupted, shutting down train traffic, this time um, traffic between Hamilton and Niagara Falls, Ontario. It's seemingly by a bunch of agitators. I don't know if there's any natives, they call themselves uh, friends of what's wetting. Um, but as far as I can tell, uh, they're just the professional agitators that like to protest something and inconvenience anyone. Now, this sprung up just hours after the rail blockade in Belleville uh, ended yesterday. And they were served a an injunction by CN Rail and they dutifully obeyed that injunction. No, not really. They actually burned it. And about a half a kilometer behind the protesters, there are several law enforcement vehicles. Well, I'm gonna wade into this protest and see if any of these people can articulate why it is that they're shutting down train traffic and costing the economy millions of dollars in the process. Oh, hello, sir. Are you part of the uh, protest? Have a good one. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, why are you guys shutting down the rail track, sir? We've got some, got some LCBO bags here, folks. It looks like there's going to be a party later on. Chips. Waffles. Chocolate. You know, sir, as you're standing in front of my camera lens, I couldn't help but notice that your coat seems to make use of uh, materials that are derived from the petrochemical industry. Uh, much like that sleeping bag over there and those tarps over there, that Home Depot bucket over there. It looks like the one uh, Samuel Opoku was using to pour feces on people. Do you think, sir, there's a bit of hypocrisy there? You're against fossil fuels? but you have a lifestyle that depends on fossil fuels. Folks, this is why my hockey career came to an end. I, I, I just couldn't skate past the, uh, the big goons on the ice quick enough. They, uh, they always did this, they checked me into the board, see? Anyways. By the way, guys, how come you conceal your identities? Is there any reason for that? Can you take off your burkas and show me who you really are? No. Okay. In the Department of Irony, part 113. What do you want to bet, guys, that most of these people here are the same sort of people that support causes like no one is illegal and uh, they're against border walls and they're against borders for nations and yet as you can see behind me they have a line which I interpret to mean the border line for their camp now I don't know if you heard that little uh, dialogue folks the lady in the uh, green nylon petrochemical jacket uh, asked them if they were going to come down and the two other ladies who are making their way up the hill they said uh, one of them said rather she's got to go back to the car the car to get more firewood and so it is they go yeah I guess they, they didn't exactly uh, bicycle or 
take a rickshaw here, did they? They're going back to their carbon spewing car. What do you want to bet it's not a plug-in Prius or a Tesla either? By the way, do any of you folks have jobs? Or you do? What, what do you do, sir? Sir, what is it that you do? Okay, as much as this is problematic, uh, a bunch of people defying the law, defying a court injunction, and incredibly inconveniencing so many other people and costing the Canadian economy perhaps millions of dollars per day, as much as that is frustrating, folks, I'm gonna show you what is even more frustrating, okay? It's that behind me. It's law enforcement just sitting there. There are several police and cruisers and they are not doing anything. I mean, if this was you or I taking a shortcut uh, across these tracks to the uh, lake over here, uh, they throw the book at us. But I guess if you self-identify as a native, even though the majority of natives want this project to uh, proceed, it's hands off. Okay, the first police cruiser I see is from the Hamilton Police Department. Hi officer. I'm uh, David Menzies with Rebel News. I'm just wondering, why are you fellas not enforcing the rule of law here today, sir? I don't have any comments. No, but they are breaking the law, what they're doing, aren't they? I don't have any comments right now. No comments? Okay. Wow, just, uh, I got the same reaction from the protesters. All right, moving along. No comment. Yeah, hi there. Oh, really? You could be. So, can, oh. do you have ID? Um, no, I don't have ID on okay. me. But, um, what, 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 sir, why would I? Why could I be arrested right now? I'm gonna have you leave now. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm okay. not gonna talk to you right now. Can they be arrested, officer? I, I'm trying to square the circle. You're saying that these people who are illegally blocking the tracks down yonder. That's okay, but, and they're in defiance of a court order too, but you're gonna arrest me for what? Practicing journalism? Just give me a minute, David, okay? I'll, give, okay? I'll come back and talk to you in a minute, okay? Okay, I'll, I respect that, sir, I'll wait here. I heard my name on the walkie-talkie. Wonder if the SWAT team is gonna descend soon. Yikes. I'll be right back, guys. Well, what do you know? It is the... CP police. Hey, Hi guys, how you doing? You My name is David Menzies with Rebel News. Oh, hey Dave, I've seen your video. Listen, uh, Dave, I really appreciate though if you get away from the rails, it's very okay. dangerous. Well, we're Canadian Pacific police officers and part okay. of our job is safety. Okay. Okay, we really need you to get off railway property. It is a federal offense of trespassing. Y you know you what? understand that? Uh, I understand you loud and clear, officer. Okay, this, oh, is, not public, why? this is not a public area. Okay, but is that area public where no, all those protesters are? No, it's are? not public at all. C can I respectfully ask why you're well, not we're enforcing the rule right of now. law? We're dealing with you right now. Dude. Right. Yeah. But, Do but, you want <laughs> us to deal with the rule of law right now with you, sir? <laughs> so you would you would arrest a journalist for practicing journalism covering the protest, I, I, but the I, protesters... I know your are... spiel. I, I watch it all the time. It's okay. great. I appreciate that. Uh, it's great, but you <laughs> save spiel and it doesn't make it any better. It doesn't. You are trespassing right now. A railway property is a federal offense. And we need you to leave, simply with a warning. And, and I guess if I don't, you're going to arrest me? Sir, That that's what ultimately could happen, yeah, for your mm -hmm. safety. It's it, not for debate. We have a job to do to keep this area safe and the people around it. 
that's exactly my point. Okay. It's not up for debate. <laughs> okay, so, so let's move. Yeah, let's go. No, but, so how about this way right here, okay? I'll oh, escort you out. Well, so. my, my car is back there. Okay. And, well, uh, you can take a long walk around to it because you can't go back down through railway property. But, but, sir, it's a fair question. If you're giving me the bums rush out of here under threat of arrest, mm -hmm. why aren't these people being arrested or at least being threatened with arrest? I don't understand. They're under investigation right now. Okay, can you put me under investigation for a couple of hours? <laughs> and it's a lot simpler when it's one on one. I guess I better be careful what this I wish for. This investigation is closed. You know. You're on your way out, okay, with a warning. How's that? Sir, why, why does the law apply to me and not to these law agitators? law does apply to them. But they're not getting harassed. They are under investigation right now. I don't know what that means because under investigation to me means I have to leave the premises right away. S sir, am I getting this wrong? Or, uh... No, and I think, I think you're stretching it here. Why aren't How you responding different? to the lawful order of a police officer? Well, this is, I think, the spiral we're in in this country, sir, is that when millions of Canadians so why don't are you not see... responding to the lawful I'm order of a police officer? I'm trying to answer your officer. question, officer. When millions of Canadians see yes, the rule of law yes not no. being enforced, then I think the rule of law gets disrespected, And what you're frankly. doing is you are contributing to that right now. Do I have to put an arm on you and place you under arrest? Because we will do that. So is... Can you tell me when I get my final warning? And can you tell me when they get their final right warning? Right now is your final warning. We okay, will well, not I don't comment get arrested. any further on, on those people. All I can tell you is they're under investigation. Wow. I'm, okay, sir, I'm, I'm very saddened by let's this. Go. Surely when you say it's a matter of opinion that I say these guys are breaking the law, that's really a statement of fact, isn't it, yeah. officer? Again, yes, they are breaching a law of the land. Okay. And I can agree with that just like you were. And that's why I removed you. And again, it's for the safety and security of the railway and everybody around it, correct? Okay. But again, it only applies to me, it seems. One, and no, that. they're still under investigation. Okay. Yours was easy to do. You're a single person. <laughs> oh, jeez. And I'm okay. glad you took the warning, sir. <laughs> you take care, okay? Believe me, you'd have no trouble with those types back okay, there. Okay, you take care. <laughs> and uh, please be willing to share that footage because it'll give us information we don't have yet that'll aid in our investigation. I, I will. Thank you, sir. Okay, be thank safe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so yeah, if you just go up straight out this way, sir, and then okay. the, uh, the, uh, we'll, they'll open up the gate for you. Okay, thank All you. Right, sir. Take care. Be safe. Thank you, sir. Have a nice Take day. Take care. Bye-bye. How you doing? Oh, actually, are you guys part of the protest, or? Uh, we, we wanted tried to, to be, be, but we didn't get down there. Oh, you're kidding. What, they wouldn't accept you, ma'am, or? No, no. It was uh, the, the, the um the police were down there and they said turn around or you get arrested really but then why would they say that to you sir and not arrest the two dozen people that are down there already i sorry i just realized you're with rebel news i'm not talking to you oh okay no, Does no, that... i'm not talking to you no no what happened what changed here's slime slime S sorry to interrupt sergeant That's okay. uh, um did I get the rank right? Or? Yes, you did. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, sir, I'm just curious. Uh, I was uh, told by your colleagues, nice gentleman with uh, CP police, that I would be arrested if I went down there to do my journalism work. I'm just wondering, can you explain why the squatters on the tracks that have been there for so, almost 24 hours aren't being arrested? So my understanding is that there's already been an injunction read and that as a result of that, we're not letting anybody else down there and some decisions are being made as to how to handle that properly. And that's not me making those decisions. That's happening above my head. So oh, that's, okay. that's really all I can tell you at this point. Okay. Um, we are sort of just on the perimeter trying to ensure that, you know, more access isn't made and we're going from there. Yeah. And Sergeant, I, I do notice there are other people coming down you know, the, the, we're, the we're, we're trying to deal with that. Oh, so okay, that's okay. That's so you're on that already, but that's but still, that's these that's people have been there for almost 24 that's hours that's now, that's and uh, so I, I'm not going to continue to answer questions about that. Like I said, some okay. of those decisions are being made, uh, and it's got nothing to do with me. So okay, um, sorry, not trying to give you a hard time. I understand, just, and I'm okay. not trying to give you a hard time either. Okay, I just I, I don't want to misspeak and say something that is uh, not a decision that I'm capable of making or that I don't have the authority to make. So I'm I'm just letting okay. you know what I can, and that's about all I can do. I understand. Thank you. Stay stay safe. Bye-bye. So there you have it, folks. I think the new abnormal in Canada is that we're going to have these whack-a-mole pop-up rail protests on a daily, maybe even an hourly basis. And you want to know why? Because the protesters can get away with this kind of crap scot-free. In any event, we are now living in dangerous times in Canada when the rule of law is not respected when court orders are not respected and law enforcement does nothing, just expect lawlessness 
to continue to the extent that it is, and I think it's only going to get worse. What a disgrace. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, have you heard? Rebel News is going on a cruise. Please go to rebelnewscruise.com, get all the details, and I hope to see you aboard the ship in July as we head north to Alaska.